Alright, hey guys, so it's Alix here, and today I'll be doing, this will be a video on how to get the Arcane Darkcaster. So you guys probably were prepping a lot of Legion tokens, and you were like, oh yeah dude, I am so ready for the Legion. You got like 70k Legion tokens, and then you see this, and you're like, Solidified Soul, Sidian Rock, Enchanted Death, what? What? Okay, well, this guide's gonna help you guys out. I'm gonna show you guys how to get all three of these items. First, we are gonna start with the Solified Soul and the Obsidian Rock. There are two ways you can get this. If you have the Ascended Paragon Pet, the there are quests from the Ascended Paragon Pet in which you can do. I won't be demonstrating those. I will be demonstrating the ways everyone else has to earn the freaking class if you're part of the Legion. So first thing is you wanna go and slash join Underworld and click on this giant thing. So, well, not that, but pretty much, when you first click on this, there will be a quest. This quest will allow you to obtain this certain item, which is called Soul Forge Hammer. There are three things you need. You have to get a hammer from the, the Zard dudes in Slash Join Forest, so I'll be showing you guys what I'm talking about. So in forest, you have to be killing these guys here. So I'm showing you guys how to do the quest to get the hammer now. I have to go a bit farther. And here we go. The Zardman grunts are the ones who drop a hammer. So that's one of the hammers you need to do. Another hammer you can get is if you do slash join un battle under. A. And then let's just do some random numbers. Um, let me see if it appears. It didn't appear. Do, 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 do. So you have to kill a skeletal warrior if I can find it. Here we go. These guys, skeletal warriors. You have to kill them until they drop a hammer. And then the final hammer you need to obtain is in slash join Bloodrit. Bloodrit is um you want to go around this. So you go all the way around, walk up, up one more time. You go to the right, then go down. And then you have to keep fighting the element, the rock elemental here in order to get the final hammer. So this guy, he's really weak. So once you have done that and accepted all three of the items, you can then go back over here, slash join underworld, go all the way to Dage, and then click on this giant thing here, and then the quest will appear, turn it in, and then you will have unlocked this hammer. Now what this hammer unlocks now is if you click on Dage, you click on Soul Forge, there are quests. There are two quests. One is called Obsidian Mining, and one is called Soul Forgery. So Obsidian Mining is in which you can get these Obsidian Rocks, in which is part of the thing. The other thing, or the Soul Forgery now, drops the Soul Alified Souls. So if we go back to the shop, Shop. Solified Souls and Obsidian Rock. Now, how do you do this the fastest way? Well, here's my way. You go into your chat bar, you do slash join portal undead and then random numbers. Do any random number you want, skip, and then beat up some monsters, you know, fight these guys. And these skeletal fire mages count as both a fire type monster and undead monster. So this is pretty much the fastest way to do this quest. So I will be doing these quests probably once real quick. And then the last part of the quest actually is um the enchanted death sheds or sheath. I don't not sure to pronounce that. But that last part pretty much. So we're just going to end that part here. Going to go back and slash join under world. Going to go all the way to the right. And show you guys what that last item is. So the last item now, you guys can tell, is the Enchanted Death Sheet. In order to get this item, you have to do slash join under void. Do any numbers you want to do. You go to Dage, it is actually from a quest. So you click on daily quest. That's right guys, daily quest. Meaning you can only get one of these per day. Click on daily quest you do the Mastery of Death Gauntlet. So in order to reach this quest, you have to defeat all these other guys in the quest storyline, and that's a pain, and I know it. But once you guys finish it, you have to do this one, Mastery of Death. And there it is, Death Defeated, Enchanted Death Sheed. So, if we go over here, 
There he is. You gotta beat this guy once, and then you get it. You have to do this once every day, so at most you need at least six days to obtain the new arcane dark caster. Oh, you got one shot, rip him. But yeah, I mean, good luck guys. <laughs> this is what's gonna be going on, and that is what you guys need to do to obtain that amazing arcane dark caster. So once again, we're just gonna go to um, his little merch shop. Once again, the Assolified Souls and Obsidian Rocks are from the Soul Forge quest, in which you need that Soul Forge hammer to do, and then you can just do slash join portal undead, kill the skeletal fire mages, do the quest over and over, you can quest glitch it if you need to, turn them in, eventually get 75 of each. Enchanted Death Sheet, you have to go and slash join back under void, except the daily quest, defeat death. And that's pretty much it. Legion tokens, you can do any way you want to do. I won't explain in this video what the fastest way is, but you guys can do whatever way. I personally like the Bright Paragon pet. So this is pretty much it. This is your ultimate guide on how to get the Arcane Darkcaster, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.